This is a quick tutorial on how to use the stair calculator uh, when you're at the site. So you go to the calculators button here and just go down and click stairs. That'll take you to the stairs calculator page. And um, pretty simple, straightforward techniques here. What I'm going to do is uh, select the total rise, which in, let's start with, say, four feet. And then uh, let's say it's six inches. Let's say it's uh, three eighths of an inch. So you've got a total rise from the top of the deck surface to the landing, four feet six inch, six and three eight, eighths of an inch. And let's select um, two two by sixes as the uh, the tread works out nicely because with a, a space in between there, it's usually around eleven inches. Um, let's give it a nosing of uh, inch and a quarter. The nosing is this distance here that uh, the bottom of the tread uh, extends beyond the the uh, the uh, run or excuse me the rise of the of the next step. So then the next thing you do is we p select the style of stringer how how we're going to attach that stringer to the side of the deck and in this case we're going to attach it to the outside of the frame but the first step of the stair will be level with the deck. And you can see how that is in this picture here. The stair stringer is connected to the side of the deck and the first step, if, if you can call it that, it's not really a step because it's in the same level, but it is level with the deck. Now, uh, if you don't understand that, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of help under each of these uh, question mark icons. Um, helps, you, uh, helps you work through all of this stuff. Again, the same thing with total rise. There's an explanation there and uh, a tread section, um, nosing, so forth. So we're going to start this particular calculation with the stair stringer connected to the outside of the deck and level with the top surface. But I want to quickly also show you what can happen, what happens to this image here below if I change the selection. Now I've selected outside the frame, but the first rise below the deck and the image changes to reflect that and you can see how that would happen. The other selection is inside the frame, first rise below the deck. A little more complicated but a very rigid uh, methodology as well and in fact some details shown here as to how uh, this stringer would actually fit in between uh, joists and a blocking piece if necessary um, and the, the labeling of the dimensions and so forth. Let's go back to the original plan and let's select, uh, let's say the joists are 2 by 8, which is what's required. And let's use a 2 by 12 stringer. I always like to have a, a, a bigger stringer if possible because I'm concerned about the uh, throat. This distance here, I'd like that to be 5 inches or greater. Um, so once we've selected all these items, we're ready to calculate. For, uh, click the calculator stringer length, and it's going to tell us the distance from this corner here to here. So that's the longest piece of, of, of 2 by 10 you're going to need in order to cut these notches, the rise and the runs. So let's calculate that right now. And there we go. All of the numbers finished. You can tell this is almost 8 feet long, pretty much 8 feet, 96 inches. It tells you what the tread is. It tells you what the unit run is. It tells you what the unit rise is. It tells you the total rise. It's all good stuff to know. It tells you that there are uh, how many rises you'll need when you cut this. this is actually going to be eight. And I know if you're looking at this image, you're probably thinking, well, where's the image does not reflect eight rises. No, that's true. I'm working with an area here that has to uh, house a certain size of image, no matter what kind of stair design you come up with. So what I wanted to show here was simply the key crucial measurements, that being the tread, the nosing, unit run, throat, and so forth. You'll see that it only has uh, the rises here are one, two, three, four, five rises. But when you actually cut this out, it's gonna you're gonna end up with eight rises. So don't pay too much attention to the uh, to to the image other than those those key measurements. So that's very helpful for you. Now the next thing you can do is use the print these results. I'm gonna press this print these results. Hopefully it won't move. Oh, it's moved. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just move this over here for you so you can see this. I think that should be it. Oops. And did it again. Uh, okay, I think that's visible for you. 
Uh, you can see that this has been formatted to fit onto a standard 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper. And you can print this out and this can be part of your uh, part of your plan or your application. It tells you a number of the key details here. Uh, remember to cut the bottom uh, off that stringer so that the first rise is, is consistent with the rest of the rises in the stairs. So um, overall, really simple and helpful uh, calculator to use. We'll go back to this here. There we go. So um, any questions, uh, don't hesitate to contact us or me anytime. I listen to all your uh, information. That's where you can find us, ideasfordeckdesigns.com, and I hope this helped.